I see her with me, Representative IBO, as it's fondly called. Um, we're talking about the economic situation in the country. You know, there's inflation, things are terrible. You know, everybody's complaining here and there. Things are expensive in the market. Not common commodities are either scarce or expensive to buy. You know, the forex is not, is not helping matters either. What exactly is the House of Representatives doing about these matters? Well, um, like I said, we are not the executive arm of government. Yes, but you have a right to call them to action. You, have a, we're not, uh, you can always we're not, call for uh, their removal if they're not we're performing. Not, we're not uh, CBN governor. And, if you don't uh, like the money, tell him to come well, off. If you, if you have been paying attention to the House, you will see that the House has been extremely active. We have invited the CBN governor several times. We have been invited the minister, uh, minister of Finance several times as well, just to find out what's going on. Where are we, you know, where we are? And like I said, it's not peculiar to Nigeria alone. It's a global trend. In the United Kingdom, they, were just, they have been, they've been uh, uh, protesting on the increase of the uh, uh, price of milk. Yeah. Milk. Mm, milk. In the US, is gas. Because before we used to buy gas at what a dollar, two dollar per liter. Now it's about four, five dollars in the summertime, and then in the winter time it goes to about three, uh, three dollars. So it, it's it's a global thing. It's just not just peculiar. Okay, to I, I think I have a call. Sir. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes, please. What's your name, sir? How are you? We are fine, thank you. Sir. <laughs> Sorry, can't hear that. We can't hear you clearly. I said my name is Walaji. Wale Raji. Olari Waju. Yeah, welcome Olari Waju. Yes. Yes, please go ahead. Okay. Good evening, my brother. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm still here, sir. How are you, sir? As a new view, we have been invited for the past year and a half now. Can you hear me? You're not, you're not very audible. Can you hear me? Yes. Do you think you deserve a second time? Do you think you deserve a second time? I want you to be prepared. Yes, I, I believe I deserve a second time. All right. I believe I deserve a second term. If you are uh, familiar with uh, the legislative arm of government, it's like a school. It's a, it's a huge institution that it takes time to learn, to understand, and to know your way around. So I remember there are 360 members uh, that are representing 360 constituencies across Nigeria. So it's not easy uh, 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 man, uh, man, uh, navigating your way. It's not easy facilitating something to come to your constituency. But so far, so good. I've been able to facilitate seven good roads. I've been able to facilitate two clinics. I've been able to facilitate four schools. And as we speak, I've been able to give free school bus to our constituents. As we speak, I've been able to donate furniture to numerous schools across Etiosa. As we speak, earlier in the year, I was able to facilitate over a thousand laptops across schools in Etiosa, be it private or public school. We've been able to give some laptops to some institutions like the police so that they can better keep records. Uh, we've been able to give laptops to racing associations also so that they can better enhance their own system within uh, their estates. We have given artisans, we've given in numerous people laptops so that at least we know that everybody's moving towards tech. Let's give you this instrument, better yourself with it. As we speak, I've been able to fight for some of our constituents that weren't getting their pension before, now they are getting their pension. I've been able to intervene in uh, youth couples that were posted to volatile areas of the country, we we'll move them down to the south where it's uh, safe for them. I've been able to help some of our children enter university enter secondary schools, I've been able to secure at least four jobs, one in University of Calabar and three in the DSS. So these are some of the things that I have done for the good people of Etiosa. And I was one of those that stood for the constituents that 
Lucky uh, too, should not start uh, tooling yet. Let us get our bearings together before they can decide to start uh, tolling. So I believe I deserve a second term to get the opportunity to go and fight for it or some more. On the floor of the house, I've been able to move motions like addressing our barracks because we have majority of the barracks here. I've been able to move motion appealing for ocean surge uh, control to come and help us with the ocean surge they are experiencing in Okwafa, Okumokpo, and uh, Alpha Beach area. I remember some uh, victims of uh, in Takwa Bay area when they got evicted from their houses. I was the one that went to FEMA to seek for relief materials for them. And the relief, relief materials came in building materials, food items, and um, the same thing. Ditto victims of ocean surge uh, in Okumafa, Okumoko area. I went to NEMA, got uh, mm. relief materials for them as well. So then other, so many other things that I have done that I'll ask you to go to my website, ibo.org.ng. We also have a running um, constituency office, number 26, Sumbo Jubu of Ribadu here in Ikoi. My Twitter handle is at Jide Koro. My Instagram handle is at Rep Ibrahim Obani Koro. If you need more information, you can also email me, ibocampaign at gmail.com. We will shoot you with all the things that we have we, done. We also give our phone numbers. At this, at this, my, at my, this, my phone this number rate. is my phone number is the same thing. 0803 725 <laughs> I'm your neighbor. I, you have elected me to represent you. I volunteered myself to represent you, and I've made myself extremely accessible so that um, it, your, so, uh, your, uh, I can carry your your cries to the right ears. So on that on that neighbor issue, you know, even your last election, you also used the phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The neighbor, the neighbor, the neighbor. Your neighbor, yes. You know, and while we're on break, I, I told you that um, a lot of people have, have said that, oh, Koro is not around, it's usually in America, or, you know, I don't know where else it goes to. You and, know. Like, and like I told you during the break, I said if they can take time to go to, us, to the National Assembly and look at the records of my signing in, they will see that if I miss a day or two in a month, maybe I'm here, or... I have an assignment, oversight assignment. I'm usually always there. Monday to Friday, you find me in Abuja. Friday to Monday, I'll be in Lagos. And why I come to Lagos is so that I can feel the pulse of my constituents. That's why we go around. Like mm. I said, we attend, uh, end of the month, we attend as many resident association meetings that we can. That's why we are able to know. Anyway, now what we is have your phone number now, so we'll that's why I'm able to know what's going on across Etiosa. We, you know, the, all the flood issues, I know where the, the drainage issues are.